<laughs> Can I go up to it? One, two, yeah. Oh my god. Just pull in right here. Welcome to my humble home. <laughs> I guess I can't open my own home. But it's okay, we can just walk right in. This here is the diving dock. This becomes a diving hole probably or something. We're currently in Eli, which is a town that's closest to the boundary waters. And it still says private property. Why? The land should belong to the people. Holy shit, the window. Got a sandwich. There's all the rain recently. Huge thunderstorms. Everything is flooded in these areas right now. This is crunchy to walk on. A pile of sticks. And it looks like someone had like a shelter here or something. Ugh. Woods of enchantment. Those are some crazy branches. Look at this. <laughs> Self-issued permit. Okay, wait. Literally, it's so easy. We're thinking of getting a canoe. But Rocky's kind of iffy about it. Shouldn't talk him into it. Ooh. Oh, that's cold. Feels kind of good though. Ooh. It's like 5 10 degrees colder here. It's beautiful. Wow. Let's go get a canoe. <laughs> Follow the lead up. This is the local forest toilet. Let's see what's inside. I don't know if you guys want to see that. <laughs> There's actual snow down there that still have not, has not melted in May. I'm impressed. Usna. Usnia. Usna. Piece I could add into my art. Transition. That is very beautiful. I left my camera card at home which really sucks because I only have this little um, action camera with me but it'll be okay I think about to make beef patties right now I'm gonna season them and then cook them over the fire milk for coffee, toast, and then we brought some eggs and morels. So we're gonna be creating a full-fledged breakfast. We're supposed to have um, an eclipse tonight. Did you look for a memory card? I asked them about the memory card. That's what I was telling you. They don't have one in the store. We had several options for entry points with our canoe. We decided to go with Hegman Lake. Um, which is where we pretty much hiked the day before. The reason we went there is because we wanted to see the Native American pictographs or paintings on the rocks. That was supposed to be like a several hour canoe trip rather than like a full day, which I'm really glad we did that because I definitely was not up to the level of doing even a full day canoe trip. And also we were met with really strong winds when going back, which kept turning us around no matter how hard we paddled. 
So it took all of the last of my strength to be able to paddle us back. Yeah, we have two porters right there. When I was uh, at Donrose, I talked to an older guy about us. And he told me that he would portage from area to area. And I just kept thinking he was saying porridge because I had no idea what it meant. I was like, what is porridge? But he didn't explain that well to me or else I didn't hear him really well. Portaging is carrying your canoe or kayak across to the next water area. They're right over there. They're tiny. Hmm. A moose, a cat, a man. What looks like fish, bows maybe? No, those are boats. Those are boats with people in them. And a cross. I wonder what they used to draw like. There's no way that's a cat. There's not going to be cats here. Right around this branch. If you want, we can just literally attach it so we don't have to carry it on. That would be smarter. Okay, hold on. Push me out so I get around that rock. And now start pulling me towards... Don't get that. Oh, yeah, there's the rock right. There. If that starts floating away, you're swimming for it. <laughs> so much weight. Oh, shut up. What? <laughs> Look like a fatty right now. Me? Yeah. The fuck do you mean? We decided to hammock here, but it looks like there's a storm that's gonna happen. And Rocky assures me there will not. It's just a little wetness, a little rain. Oh, this is comfortable for one person. <laughs> Those are gonna be for two. Even more comfortable, right? I don't know. For some reason, I thought this was like a jar of M&Ms. I really want some M&Ms right now. Mm -hmm. I'm craving chocolate and ice cream because I haven't had any for a couple days. I'm not really used to it. There's like a little hobbit hole over there. You look cozy. Yeah, pretty much. Let's head back that way. I want you to know this was cool before I took it out. Okay, you drank your water. Where's your other water bottle? In my backpack. Is it full? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> you only need one water bottle a day. That's enough for a human being. That's not even. Yes, sir.
I hauled this thing from down there all the way up. And turns out that the log is very hard to chop um, with Rocky's dull hatchet. Boy. So, <laughs> so Rocky's just breaking up these sticks for our fire and we're gonna roll this log all the way back down. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the baby tree. Okay, it kind of rolled over a tree, but that was really not that exciting. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying that moment. You're welcome. You're welcome. I need bigger pieces. Chop, chop, Rocky. <laughs> Rolling under a table transition. <laughs> it's like an ape or something. This side? Yes. This side of the blanket is where her head is supposed to be. We can just change it around, right? Right, Brav? Bravski. <laughs> Making my favorite new campfire dish, which is bacon potatoes. Basically potatoes sliced through thinly with bacon pieces inside and then you spray with olive oil but I just brought avocado pan basically. These are also going to be topped off with some hot butter and garlic. And then you wrap them in foil, in tin foil, and place them underneath the ashes in the fire. That's crazy, Rocky. Yes, it is. Could that be a shooting star? I I don't think that's Oh true. my god. Oh my god. Do you see other stars moving up there? No, not really, but that is crazy. I actually really kind of wish I set up the fucking camera card from the... Okay, so you do see that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that that's like a comet or something. Why is it moving so crazy like that? So crazy? <gasps> that was a shooting star. That's a shooting that star. was a shooting star. This is what, what is that fuck? Rocky? The boundary water is just so fucking good for star stars. Yeah, if only it was visible on the camera. <laughs> Star trail that was, it was like a row, a long row of stars, and it was just moving really fast across the sky. Yeah, really? Yeah. We locals don't like to talk about that. <laughs> As I'm sure many of you are curious about what exactly it was that we saw that night, after a quick Google search, we found out that it was actually Elon Musk's Starlink satellites, which I think he launched a couple days before that. And maybe it was his intention to have him flying across the sky during the night of the blood moon. I wouldn't put it past him. Either way, it was still a pretty cool sight and probably a rare occurrence. This is a very cool trail, actually. Now these are some birches that look healthy and alive. Look at this. That looks like a birch that would make good sap. Well, that one looks kind of dead, to be honest, but... Can't reach bigger than my arm. Berman, I don't know who told you this, but. 
Really? No. Yeah. <laughs>